Hey everybody. Um, so, as as we promised, once we hit 500 subs, we were going to make commentaries and some other incredible experiences for each and every single one of you. So, today is going to be very easy. Just to uh, 3D text, just to show off on Cinema 4D. I know it's kind of late. We actually are almost halfway to 600, but better late than never, I guess, I hope, well, here, we're going to go ahead and open up Cinema 4D, just like uh, we're supposed to, and go ahead and get right into it, we're going to throw in some text there, I think everybody knows how to put text in, but if not, go right to the button next to the cube, press it and hold it, and click text, now change this to whatever you want to be. I'm going to go ahead and make it to test. And a real good font for this is uh, Arial Black. It's just, it's thick. And it's just pretty nice looking. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, also, now to make it 3D, right now you can obviously see it's not 3D. This is just the text. And if you render it out, you can't see it. We're going to click on this green box right here. And it says hyper nerves, and then right next to it it says extrude nerves. So we're gonna click that. And you got it right. You should have it right above here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click this, drag it so that arrow is facing down, right onto extrude nerves. And there you go. That's your 3D text, and that's all. Now I'm just playing. There's plenty more to go. Now we're gonna make this look pretty, because obviously that looks like shit. And you'd be lucky if, some, if somebody wanted that. So, we're going to go ahead and click on movement to raise that up a little bit, give it a little bit of depth, make it look a little bit better. And we are going to take this and we're going to copy it. And you can do Control C and Control V to get it, or you can just do Edit, Copy, Edit, Paste. We're gonna take the one that was the one that says number one on it. We're gonna drag it down. We better get it from the side. We're gonna drag it so it's less than this one. This uh, movement. And we're gonna try, try to line it up the best you can. About uh, you can do it in the back, you can do it in the front, whatever you like. But it looks nice right in the middle. And we're gonna take that. Once you have it set in the middle, just go by that. It doesn't. It's not really very important. Then I hit on caps right next to object, caps, and, do, and click here, and make it say fill it cap. And as you can see, it raises it up a little bit, gives it a little bit of a depth, makes it look a little better. And you can take the radius, move it out some, if, but if you move it out some, you can see how it crosses. So if you want to move it out some like this, go back to your text. Or you can just do actually do control click on both texts and right here and do horizontal spacing. So that's that's basically dial some for you. Now that looks that looks pretty decent. Pretty decent looking. But you got oh shit. That's just fine. that's fine. But you got nothing. Because it's just text. So what you're gonna do now is throw in a plane. Now when I get a plane, it's small and you don't want it to look like that. So I just throw it out here and just do hundred thousand, whatever, just a big enough number where it covers the whole screen like that. That's fine. Raise it up a little bit. You got the whole thing out like that. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put some materials on it just to uh Make it better. You gotta remember your extrude nerve one is the nub sticking out, and this is the face of it. So a real easy material to uh, use that's just right there for you is to go up to shader, go over here to Nuki, Nuki, however, whatever it's supposed to go. Click that. Now all that is a crony, nice looking blue, and I'm gonna throw that on the outside. You can see that looks pretty decent. Still having some 
it still looks a little funny. You can see that stuff right there, but don't worry about that. That's just some of my uh, render settings. You and your ears will be fine. Now, for the second one, I'm going to take just click on my material. Now I'm going to go into. I'm going to actually I'm going to make it a little bit darker. Just make it look a little bit nicer. Make it kind of darker. I'm going to go to reflection. Make sure you check it on, or else it won't work. And I'm going to go to texture and Fresno. Fre I, sorry if I'm just butchering that word, but that's what I'm thinking. And as you can see, that gives you a nice looking reflection. And I'm going to throw that on the front. So you can see it'll it'll look pretty decent when I render it out. But it still looks like shit. There's no shadows. There's no lighting. It's just plain. So to solve that, we're just going to click click on this light right here. It's the yellow thing with the four arrows sticking out. Click light. Now you're going to want to drag that back a little bit and pull it up some, just wherever you want to put it. You see that? But that doesn't do anything for shadows. What's going on? Well, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have your light selected, and right here where it says Omni, go right below it, it's Shadow Maps Salt. That way, when you render it out, it'll give you a nice other shadow, but I still don't like that. So here, here's the part where you just get to play around with it, just to see what you like. If you want, if you want the shadow, you can take intensity. You can also do shadow density to make it shadows not as thick here. But just to turn my shadows down some, I'm gonna turn the intensity down a little bit, just so it's not as bright. You can see that that's looks pretty decent. You can still you can play around with settings and stuff, and, and it'll uh, turn out pretty. It'll look pretty good. Render looks decent. But I, you're probably thinking, oh, well, that S looks like shit, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks like shit. It's just I, I just put some wrong. With my, it was my, my own personal settings. You guys will be fine. But that's uh, that's about it. You can lighten the scene. You can darken the scene. You can just do whatever you want to. And that's you're beginning to become a pro editor like myself. No, I'm just playing, I'm not that good yet, but I'm practicing. But you guys are good for it. Just uh, subscribe, like this, and we can get enough likes, we'll have another tutorial out pretty soon. And get our name out there. We're still looking for some subs. If you can uh, help us out with that, that'd be great.